In this video, we'll have a quick guide on the boss room within Duality Dungeon. So first off, when you get into the room, you'll notice a couple things. There are a total of four symbols on the floor. Those four symbols are what you need to do to start boss DPS later in the encounter. You'll also notice four balconies. That's where you get the symbols in the Nightmare Realm. You'll notice they have the same symbols as the symbols on the floor. You'll notice that there are three bills, middle, right, and left. You'll also notice if you look in the back of the room, there are chains and a hammer. So if you think about it, this is similar to the chains that you had in Leviathan Raid. And these will help you with a mechanic later that, in addition to putting the four symbols in, will help you do boss DPS later in the encounter. So let's talk about the encounter, how it works. First off, you're going to start in a normal area. Take your time and kill the ads. There's no timer here. And make sure to take care of the bell keepers. Identify the symbols. There'll be two at the beginning. And have two people split off and go to the balcony before you shoot the bell saying grab the symbols. Because the, the, the standard bearers will show up in those areas. And when you, go, when you switch between the normal and the nightmare realm, it actually the purple area will become an area where you can fall and die. So it's important to go ahead and get up on those balconies before you take out the bell. Have one person stay in the middle that shoots the bell to send you over. Once in the nightmare realm, the symbol takers need to kill their colossus as quickly as possible. Those will show up on a balcony near you. You can use galley, Jotun, something. I also use grenades. So just something to take them out quickly because they will mess you up. I also myself use a heavy hitting scout to finish him off because he's a little bit further away. Be careful when using galley near the bells because galley can set the bells off. So just keep that in mind. Next, kill your standard bearer to grab the standard. Do not shoot any of the other standard bearer snipers that are on the other balconies. They can be annoying, but if you do that, and it's the wrong symbols, it'll actually reduce your counter in the Nightmare Realm and wipe you the team. The person in the middle is responsible for killing all the ads on the ground. Be careful of the dogs so they can overwhelm you. Again, Jotun works well here, or Grenade, or something that can take out a lot of enemies really quickly. And also the people in the, the Standard Bearers, once they get their symbols, can help out. Once you have the symbols and most ads cleared, head over to the Open Bell and head back to the Normal Realm. In the normal realm, held to a safe area in the room. We typically did this in the, the beginning in the start area where we first came in and just work down the ads room. You don't have a time or you have plenty of time. Once you get to the reasonable level, have the symbol takers dunk their symbols at the same time. The reason for this is when you dunk your symbols, two solar shielded cabal come out of the balconies on the north part of the room per symbol. That's a total of four. Doing this at the same time allows you to take them out quickly at the same time because you can pop their shields and have them explode and just do it really quickly. You can use a solar super or galley, Jotun, grenades, whatever you feel comfortable with. Once this is done, it's the same cycle of picking up symbols, going to the Nightmare Realm and returning, but with a small twist to maximize DPS of Keitel. Again, once you put in the four symbols and you take out the hammer, that's going to start a DPS phase. Once you are back in the normal realm with your symbols, go ahead and kill ads, but prepare to dunk your symbols. For the folks in the fire team, you will need to divide up the three bells in the rooms for the DPS phase. What we did is we had the person who was doing ad clear take the middle one, and then the symbol people, we had them take right and left. Dunk your symbols, head to the bells, don't even worry about ads at this point, that you'll be handling in the Nightmare Realm, and shoot the bottom of the chains that are holding the hammer. You have to shoot the chains to start the DPS phase with Keitel. Once this is done, you go back to the Nightmare Realm. In the Night Rail Realm, kill all the bell keepers ASAP. This will allow you to have three bells for damage. Keitel will then move to one of those bells. When she gets close to the bell, stun her. You, you basically close the bell as you normally do, and that will do DPS for that phase. Try to do damage close to the bell for the best DPS. You gain a buff called Waking Resonance for 12 seconds that allows you to do the most DPS. You're going to want to really do as much DPS during that phase as possible during those 12 seconds. After a period of time, she will head over to one of the other bells. Have everyone move over, and then she gets close to the same thing. Do this three times, and the DPS phase is over, and you'll go back to normal room. So again, your maximum period of DPS is going to be for 36 seconds. So during that time, that's when you want to use your supers. That's when you want to use your best weapons. After that, you'll again rotate and then come back into the normal realm. Do this enough times, and you'll kill the boss. So again, the key to this whole encounter is making sure you deal with ads. Splitting up into the roles of Symbol Taker and Ad Clear. Making sure to kill the correct enemies in the Nightmare Realm. Dunking four symbols and dropping the chains to start DPS. Taking out all the bell keepers in the Nightmare Realm and then stunning Keitel at each bell and maximizing da damage during the waking 
resonance buff. Go through these steps and you'll finish the encounter. Again, not too bad of an encounter. Again, it builds on all the mechanics you were doing previously. And again, once you do that, you're done. You finish the dungeon. If you like this video, feel free to like it, subscribe to my channel, jump my Discord, and I'll see you guardians in the tower.